Hello all, I am Suresh Goyal and if you get on an academy, you can follow me on an academy learning app where you can find my other courses as well. This lesson is on some very interesting words and we'll be talking about their meanings, their usage in sentences. We'll be talking about their synonyms and their antonyms and all of these things we'll be talking about in one single lecture, okay? We'll be taking some very interesting words. So, please do not forget to rate, review and share this lesson and also do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And this is my profile and here's the link where you can just follow me for my other courses. You can find this link in the description of this video also. And also please do not forget to shoot all your questions, any doubt, any query which you are having in your mind. Uh, you can just shoot that in the comment box below and all your questions will be answered for sure. So moving on, in this lecture also we will be talking about some different words. And here we have the first one for this lecture that is inquisitive. In inquisitive so when I'm talking about inquisitive so its meaning is having or showing an interest in learning things learning new things or others affairs now when you have so much interest in learning new things whenever you see something you say that uh, you ask so many questions like uh, what is it why is it how is it uh, and all these questions when you ask when you have so many questions about something about some new things you like a lot to learn new things and you have so much interest in others affairs you know what other person is doing how they do things and why you why are they doing things so when you have interest in all these things then that uh, person is actually considered to be inquisitive okay i have an example sentence for you all my mother is always very inquisitive about my girlfriends now i think now this is the case with all my brothers who are just watching this video of mine i think this is the case with uh, your mother's too right okay so it's like my mother is always very inquisitive like she is always having a lot of interest in knowing about my girlfriends okay so it's an example for inquisitive then we have some synonyms for the this inquisitive and the first one is inquiring yeah so when you inquire about something like what's happening in your life what's happening in others life or what what about it how it performs if you are talking about any gadget or if you are talking about any technology how it works what's a what its concept so all these things when you inquire so you can inquire okay the next is curious so when you are curious about something that means you are eager to know or you are eager to learn something whenever you are eager to know something whenever you are eager to learn something that means you are curious about something you know children's are generally expected to be curious about a lot of things you know so that is what we call curious a synonym for inquisitive then we have the antonyms and the first antonym is distracted so on one hand i am saying inquisitive like when a person is showing interest in learning things or showing interest in others affairs okay and on other hand i have an antonym that is distracted which means that you will not be able to show interest in others affairs or in any uh, new thing because why because you are unable to concentrate okay you are unable to concentrate because you are already occupied by some sort of worry or by some sort of unpleasant okay so when this is the case that means you are distracted okay the next is negligent so when i'm saying negligent it actually means when you fail to take proper care over something when you fail to take proper care over something like you are inattentive so on one end I am saying inquisitive, you are showing a lot of interest, you are attentive towards something and on other hand you are negligent, you are inattentive, okay, you are failing to take proper care, so that is negligent. Similarly we have one more word that is impartial, so when I am talking about impartial it means not favoring one side or opinion more than other involved in any argument. When I am saying you are impartial that means if you are sitting here and you have two choices and you need to choose uh, one out of it then you will not be biased that means you will not uh, be like you know you will not have some sort of favor towards any of the side you will take a decision which will be apt to take okay you will not uh, consider other factors like you know someone personally like uh, you have some soft corner for someone so you will not consider all those factors in taking a decision you will not be biased at all okay so when you are not favoring one side or opinion more than the other involved in any argument then you will be considered impartial like for example 
and impartial investigation should be done on this issue obviously when we have some issues like we have some criminal issues then all these criminal issues requires what all these criminal issues require an impartial investigation the investigation should be done in an impartial way okay if i talk about the synonyms for impartial then the first one i have is just okay just actually means you know when you behave according to what is morally right or fair okay when you behave in such a way like what is morally right and fair you are not biased about something when you act in a fair way okay or you can say equitable just and equitable are synonyms equitable is also that thing when you are not biased on one side and you are doing what morally right and what morally fair okay then we have antonyms first one is biased and then we have just uh, unjust we have just so we have unjust here like when you are not uh, morally right and fair and biased is when you are actually you know um, on one side you are actually unfair towards something okay you are unfairly prejudiced for or against someone okay uh, because of some other factors maybe some personal issues or maybe anything else but you are biased towards someone okay so this is how we use this antonyms the next word is just now we already talked about just so it's something like fair or morally correct something is just that means something is fair and something is morally correct okay so this is what justice for example the judge sentence was perfectly just in the circumstances so that means the sentence which has been given by the judge is perfectly just that means is perfectly fair is perfectly correct in the circumstances so this is how we use just okay then then we have synonyms for just now obviously impartial is a synonym we just discussed in the last uh, word impartial and then we have righteous obviously you can say righteous also when something is just when something is morally correct then it is actually righteous it is justifiable it is morally right okay then we have antonyms first being unfair when i'm saying just means fair obviously i'm talking about antonym so it should be unfair okay and then we have discriminatory so when i'm saying discriminatory it is like you know showing an unfair distinction showing an unfair distinction between different categories of people now you are actually supposed to uh, judge a show or judge any competition and if you are showing an unfair distinction between the different participants then you are actually uh, what you are actually uh, performing some sort of biased you are actually a biased okay you are a bit unfair and you are actually performing discriminatory practices okay so this is how we use just the next one is keen so when i'm saying keen that means you say keen when you strongly want to do something when you have a strong desire to do something when you do something in you know anyhow you want to do it you have very strong desire you want to do it okay at that time i use what i use keen now if i use if i just consider one example sentence and i have he was not too keen on that idea let's say you have n number of ideas in your mind but you don't start working on every idea okay so like you work on uh, that idea about which you are very keen so he was not too keen on that idea there must be some idea on which he was not very keen he was not a very strongly you know uh, desire ha have any desire to do something on that idea okay like like if i talk about the synonyms for this word keen then the first one is poignant okay poignant what does it mean poignant it means evoking a keen sense evoking a keen sense of sadness or regret okay when you when you are touched by someone okay when someone says something and you are touched like pitiful okay like uh, mournful so these are the words which we are which are actually synonyms of poignant so when i'm saying poignant that means you are evoking a keen sense of sadness or regret okay the next is eager again when i am saying eager it actually means when you when you strongly want to do or have something when you strongly want to do something or you strong, strongly want to have something then we have the antonyms the first one is blunt now what is blunt blunt actually means when you are you know uh, you reduce the force of something like you know uh, blunted determination you had a lot of determination in the starting but now 
the determination is less so earlier the desire was you know more than enough to do that thing but now uh, the desire is actually not that uh, enough okay so this is how we use this blunt and then we have insipid so when i'm saying insipid when you are lacking in interest in doing something so earlier you were having having a strong desire to do something but now you are lacking in interest in doing that so this is how you can use insipid as a antonym for keen okay so that's all for this lecture we'll be talking about some more interesting words in the next lecture thank you very much this is soyesh koyal signing off